We've got to address this. What's happened? We have to address what Jurgen Klopp has said. No, he didn't, Terry. He didn't. <laughs> Terry, he didn't. He didn't. Jurgen Klopp, please put this up, J. Ron. The wind was coming from all directions and did not help. That's not an excuse. Come anybody. on, guys. Let's not blow it out of proportion. So Terry, he didn't. It's just part it, of. It's part of, It's part of the speech. It's just come on. But come on, guys. Are you? Let's not do this. I need to ask let's you this. Not do this. I can tell by your face let's you're embarrassed, right? You're embarrassed. No, it's like your, it's like your dad turning up to a party wearing sandals and socks. I can see that embarrassment in your face, right? Oh my day. Jurgen Klopp. You you as a Liverpool fan can't believe the wind had anything to do with today's. I didn't even I didn't even notice there was wind. I, no. Yeah, I mean, we weren't there, so we wouldn't see it. We were yeah. indoors. But Salah missing his opportunity... Had nothing to do with the wind. How, yeah, exactly, the wind. No, nothing. Why is he talking about the wind? The blustery wind. And and there's another comment here from somebody... Um, I don't believe this. I, I refuse to believe He has definitely said They're it, trolling. but it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Jurgen Klopp didn't say that, man. I believe, I believe in Klopp more than that. And if he did... Oh, Jesus Christ. He probably did. Help us all. Do you muscle. think that's where the mentality stuff no, becomes a problem? Not. No, it does not. Do you not think no, the manager? No, it does not. No, it does not. So the manager? Not. No, it does not. It does not come from Jurgen Klopp because Jurgen Klopp has won titles. Okay. In a more demanding league in yes. terms of the the competition, Bayern Munich. Come on, let's not let's not be idiots. He won a league with Bayern Munich inside the league. Like but Bayern Munich weren't great. No, no, they were. He was very very good. I'm not going to downplay what Jurgen Klopp achieved. But I'll, I'll ask a question to Adam. <laughs> If you had a manager, yeah, I'm trying to. Think if you have a manager, whether it's right. a sports team or at work, mm -hmm. who was continually making excuses, blaming the snow, blaming the wind, blaming other team injuries, yeah. do you think that has any any way in planting seeds of doubt into your minds or planting uh, preempted excuses into the minds of players that can generate a weaker mentality when it comes to winning trophies? Do you think it plays any part? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, Adam. What are you doing? So you don't think, yeah, he goes... So, so as we've seen we've seen in the Man City doc, so, right? You don't think that he says one thing to the media and goes into the room and says something else. You don't think he says that? Um, it's possible. You, oh, it, it could, it's it's possible. a possibility, right? But what I think it does is makes these players think that, you know, anything will do. Um, and that's what I believe we've seen today. Is that cool? Um... Oh, we, we, this is this is some the full statement. Uh, the generals put this up. We can get this up on the screen for us. If Adam's a bit closer, we can read this out for us. This is exactly what Jurgen Klopp has said. His exact one says. Get Javon to get up on the screen first. There we go. Right. Very difficult game for different reasons. I know people don't like it when I say it, but the wind came from all di different directions. The ball was in the air a lot. Do you believe these excuses? Does that sound like something he might be saying to the media and not to his his players? No. It doesn't. It doesn't, does it, RBC? No, it doesn't. I, I mean, I, I don't want to... I'm, I'm, I'm astounded. I'm flummoxed and flabbergasted. Liverpool fan. <laughs> <laughs> but Liverpool fans, uh, we, look, we wanna, we're going to keep... We rec this is being done. This is all we want to talk about for the next 10 minutes of the show. Jurgen Klopp blaming the wind. Really? Liverpool fans, 0203 606 0315. We need to hear from you now. Let's put some calls for you, Javern. said I know people don't like it. If these guys Bruh. on these calls don't want to talk about this subject, they get hung up on. This is all we're going to talk about now for a little while because this is big. Got some super chats coming as well. Ooh. Super. Dope. Hello, welcome to Fan Park Live. What's your name? Um, yes, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. We know you're a Chelsea fan, Daniel. We're going to pose this question to you. Jurgen Klopp has just attributed some of the blame for them not winning today to the wind. Do you believe that's weak mentality from the manager? Wow, I mean, I wasn't actually going to call onto the show until I saw those comments on um, Sky Sports, so I just had to call it because I know mean, that was the comments. So, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think that those are the same comments he's telling his players. Like in the changing room, oh, we only, we only drew today because of the win. But at the same time, it is really weak to be coming out like that. And the only reason why I wanted to call on is yes, Klopp has won things in the past, and he clearly is one of the best managers in the world, I guess you could say. But I mean, he came with such confidence and arrogance in his first post conference, which I will never forget. I was arguing with this Arrogance is the, the words day. that you're using. And he said that, oh, I'm going to, I guarantee we're going to win a Premier League in the first four or five years. And he did. You're going to bottle it like this again, he, eight points clear out in what? That. December, in February time, you're still top of the league, and now you're bottling it to this point. Mm. It's really embarrassing, especially you're making all these excuses. So, listen, yeah, me, me and Daniel. 
me and Daniel do not agree on much, but bro, you're you're doing amazing right now. Where, where was the amazing? Amazing. First of all, he said that any, Klopp any was fan. arrogant inside his first. No, he was not. He was. No, he was he not. He definitely was. A man said, "I'm the normal one," but that's arrogant, right? Yeah. Number two, you said that he said he's going to win the league in the in his. No, he said he's aiming to win the league. Oh, no, Again, no, he, no, he didn't. No, he did. not Go gonna check find the transcript. We're gonna find his words. He said aiming. Please go check. Please, Daniel, if you're gonna come onto the show, come with facts. Don't come oh, no, no, no. I went, I, I went and back to the and stuff a few months back, and I have the actual video, which I can show you later on if you want me to. I like and that. He said, I'd like that. And he I'd said, like with the surety that we're going to win the league in the first four years. 100%. I can oh. show that to you later. I don't mind. I'd like that. Cool. Wow. Uh, someone I... give me your Twitter handle, and I'll DM, DM it to you later. No, don't DM me. DM the TFO. <laughs> <laughs> And like I know you're salty and I know you're upset and you know DM I was we had pillars if I went show, 25, 26 you. years without we see my team win the league title so yeah. it, it's heartbreaking I can imagine it's but you know hang in there maybe you'll win it if not this season then maybe next year will be your year you know we'll see. Uh, Daniel you're doing you're doing great today man you're <laughs> doing great today Daniel I really appre- appreciate your thoughts <laughs> <laughs> on that make, one make sure you DM the TFO show please thank you it, it would do that let's t- take a couple more calls on this specific wind, subject man. the wind someone here this is a great actually before a call don't put a call through put this tweet put this comment up <laughs> this is from Kai Newton off of the football terrace he says Klopp is learning from Ty it is no <laughs> yeah you can see it there he wants to laugh but that is it's so bad yeah. weather Listen, but this is the thing. I know. Wind, Terry. I bet. What's, I wonder what Drifty's saying. Drifty, call us. Let's put some calls, please, please through Javern. The wind. Madness. Uh, yeah. Madness. Go force. Hello, welcome to Fan Park Live. What's your name? What's going on? Yeah, turn down that background, please, brother. I can't hear anything. Yeah, he's, uh, he's watching TV. Hello. Let me know. Yeah, yeah. Cool. What do you make of Jurgen Klopp's excuses, blaming the wind? Ah, uh, that's just friggin' Liverpool all together, isn't it? Just fucking bottling it and then blaming someone else for it, bro. Yeah, wh- why do you think they're blaming all but themselves? Why can't Liverpool self-reflect and just say we weren't good enough? We lacked X, we lacked Y, we lacked Z. Why are they always trying to blame another team, another group of people, or the weather, God, whoever it may be? Do you know why? Yes, yeah, because they, they really are trying to win the league, mm. but they're just not good enough. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why are you? I'm really loving it. Yeah, no, it's because he's just like proper, authentic, and genuine. Like I really, he really believes that Liverpool are good enough. And oh, I, just, okay. I don't know. I just like. It. I think it's funny. Yeah. Do you know what? No, I literally what? don't think Liverpool's good enough. Even your previous caller said that they're comparable to Spurs. And that, when I look at it, it's probably even true. Oh, you think Liverpool are good as Spurs? Yeah. I think Spurs are as good as Liverpool. Ah, oh. I see what he did there. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. I, I, do you know what? It's, it's, it is an interesting one. No, it, it's not. No, not not whether you're as good as Spurs. I okay, think cool. I think you're better than Spurs. Thank you. Um, but in terms of th- this this sort of yes. making excuses, because I felt like, I remember we sat down That's a few weeks ago and I did a video with you mm. and I said I, I think the Liverpool fan I've started to see ex- all sorts of excuses, ranging from the weather yep. to injuries to referees to decisions talking about Man City as being like undeniably the greatest Premier League side of all times yeah that's true I'm not sure about all time but they well, are but, really well, a good side I think the, there's only literally one team in this league and that's City I, I know I get that but the point I'm making is that I, I've just seen an abundance of excuses coming out are those excuses? I always feel that those excuses are there for two reasons. One, if they don't win the league, they can say, "Yeah, but we told you all these things were against us." Yep. And if they do win the league, they can claim some Leicester City-style underdog victory, which, yeah, that's which, right. which that's is which right. is nonsense. And that's what I see no, from this. No, don't agree. No, don't agree. No, don't agree. No, don't agree. It clearly shows that they've got a mentality issue. If when they're front runners, they can't just do what they've been doing all season. But the second they go behind. They're all comfortable again. But you just said we're not good enough. You know what I mean? Second. But you just said we're not good enough. No, you're not good enough. So so how can you tell me that we're going to try to do some um, underdog style win if you're saying that we're not good enough? And you're telling me now it's a mentality thing. You're saying three different things. Of course, you're trying, bro. You're trying Ah. physically, but you just don't have it. Ah, I see. There we go. Appreciate your call, mate, and your viewpoints on that. Someone said RBC dressed up for the blustery weather there. I love it. Our, our last, our last title challenge, uh, thirteen fourteen, was blamed on one person. Who's that? The, I'm not gonna say it. No, who? We make, like people make songs about it. What's his name? No, I'm not gonna say it. Oh, say Zebra. 
Who? Our no. last title challenge. Oh, yeah. One oh, that. went wrong. Oh, because of Gerard. Yeah, it's one person. What did he do? And that was internal. So I don't, I don't, I don't. All this, all this making blame. Oh, is, is, slippy, slippy. <laughs> slippy, slippy, slippy. All this slippy, making slippy. blame stuff is, is, is. is you know, stop, stop. stop. You're turning me into a Liverpool hater again. I don't no, know. it's not about hating on Liverpool. You know, I think they're good enough to win the league. I'm sitting here and I haven't said your bottle jobs. I haven't said and, and you know that what? you're not good enough. I just, I'm asking for people's opinions. When I see those excuses, though, I come from a world where. Mm. I've seen it in, in all talks of... I used to compete for my country at sport. So when people talk about, like, elite level, I used to compete at the highest level of my sport. Highest. And I used to see... Th- th- there's, there's, this, there's this thing about elite mentality. It's going out there. Second place is losing. And that's, 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 that's how my club were. And the club I was from, the, the standard and the level of winning and the, the number of world champions that came out of our club was, was astounding because that was the attitude. Second place is losing. Tell them, Terry. I just find when I hear what Jurgen Klopp's saying, mm. you know, blaming wins, blaming this, when fans throw throw out excuses, I've always believed that the, the that, that kind of attitude gets into a dressing room. It makes excuses and but, it makes you weak. But today, from what you've seen and what you've searched and what you've read, we've all seen that a lot of people are turning their backs on one person again internally. On Mo Salah, so I, I, I don't get think that. It's, I don't all this the wind. Okay, the wind is. is why clock? Well, anyway, the wind is a separate factor of its own. I think it's the, not a factor. Injury, it's literally not a factor. All the, 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 the talking that he keeps doing is pissing me off, number one. But I think it's a separate factor on its own. Whereas when we're talking about fans and we're, t- we're talking about people who love the club, they're, they're giving us real reasons like Salah not scoring, like Mane not being clinical, stuff like that. C- comment here, uh, super chat from Nick P, who says um, Hurricane Freya. Now join <laughs> now join Slippy G in Liverpool's catalogue of errors. Do you know what makes it even funnier? Because Freya is my daughter's name, and this person doesn't know that because that's the oh. first time I've ever revealed on the internet that I have a daughter, and um, that's my daughter's name. So that's made me even happier. So it's, it's brilliant. He's from, he's from the east. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, listen, him. I don't know, bro. Van, Van Dyke's not from the east. He's from Wait, he's, he's from the Netherlands. He's from the east of England. East of something. East, East, East compared to America, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. you see it in America. There we go. Uh, Glenn Johnson oh. here, another super chat. Says a few weeks ago, um, I would have gladly taken an L to Man City to stop Liverpool uh, from winning the league. Now it looks like Liverpool will throw um, throw it themselves, um, and I couldn't be happier from a Man United fan. And that's true. It's true. Although, yeah, the, the, look, United. You know, you, you, I've always said for a few weeks now, Man United are going to have a big say. In this title, as a number of teams have done, you know, stop Liverpool getting three points last week. Yep. You're gonna, you, how much are you gonna be cheering for Man United when they play Man City? No, I'm gonna wear a Man United top. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you but do you know what I love about that? Do you know what I love about <laughs> what that? Do you mean? Is I got so much stick on this show from wanting Liverpool not to win games because I don't want them to win the league as a Man United fan. Yeah. And I love hearing a Liverpool fan basically say, "Well, I'm gonna become." A United fan for it, which is the same concept and the same like. And every Liverpool fan out there, I was there, an Arsenal fan. I was an Everton fan. I, I get that. Every single Liverpool fan that has thrown salt at me all year. In a few weeks' time, when Man United play Man City, you are all gonna be on my side. I doubt. And do you know how that makes me feel? I feel. Do you know how I feel like? You remember Cool Runnings? Yeah. When he stands in the front of the mirror and says, "I got pride. I got power. power." That's how I feel. <laughs> I can't remember that guy's name. What was his name? character I've got to remember his name the that's how I feel the yeah the posh no, but the posh guy oh sorry yeah yeah the, the posh dude the, yeah, yeah. alright so that's how I feel I'm really sh- really great but there we go Jurgen Klopp has blamed the wind Liverpool fans leave your comments and let us know what you think please